Guys, I completely love the film. I was just telling you right now, I'm completely surprised. I was just, you know, crying. I was like, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It was great. Okay. All emotion. Yeah. It was yeah. all emotion. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Were you also, laughing as well? Yes, yeah, it's funny, laughing. right? <laughs> it's the great. movie is funny. I try to tell people. It's, it's not just the scares. It's actually, you know, humorous. <laughs> Wilkins. What do you make of that voice? Sounds confused. Is he senile? The voice on this tape is coming from an 11 year old girl. How big is for you to come here to Mexico to talk about the film where the first Conjuring did great here? Yeah. And we completely love the film. How big is for you? Uh, it's a big deal for me. Yes. And, and seriously, I, I, could, I, I remember uh, yeah, when the first Conjuring came out and, um, and you know, seeing how well it did in the US as well, you, you know, and then seeing how well it did in the UK. Yes. And then, but then at the end of the day, when it was all tallied up, Mexico surpassed the yeah. United Kingdom. And, you know, yeah. and, and the UK is like the second biggest sort of um, film, uh, um, you know, market outside of the US uh, at right. the time. I mean, now China is in there. But, uh, but for the horror genre, like the UK is the second but to see that um the the see mexico surpass yeah. the uk that was that was that made me it was realize. Unbelievable. and also yeah. knowing truthfully not to be technical how uh inexpensive uh theater tickets are here yes. you know oh. so if you see what? see the amount of yes. people that have gone to see the film the first one uh, the amount of money that it made wow, i didn't think about that and the tickets are all are uh -huh. was almost like less than three bucks i mean think about it from that wow. perspective if they had our yes. ticket prices and the amount of money it'd be, oh, it might be so more than us more. Wow. Yeah. that's yeah. amazing so, yeah it's great it's that's awesome. That, that means the attendant, a lot of people actually went and saw it. That's really, that's, yeah. that's awesome. It's and, great to be here. And it's also a testament too with how well Annabelle did. That how yes. much people love her from the from the first Conjuring sure. movie, yeah. They're calling it England's Amityville. There is a family that desperately needs our help. I love the whole leap of faith term you have in this film. Right. I was wondering if you can take me back when you were first pitching the first Conjuring. The leap of faith. And, <laughs> yes, <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and tell me, what were you thinking? What, what was the thing that made you say, I'm going to take a leap of faith on this film and we're going to make this? Well, uh, yeah, no, it's it's yeah. true because it was a different well, time. for you than, no, it was, than it was for me. Well, yeah. you know, I, there was a number of things going on. We were still doing the Insidious movies. I didn't right. know if I was going to do the second one of that. And right. I was sort of trying to, gosh, how many of these do we want to do? But they're completely different. different yeah. um, and once I learned about this, you know, playing a real person, that all these things that as an actor, you know, you have to sort of dwindle it down to what's your experience going to be like shooting a film? Because you can't really look at, it's going to be a big success, like, because it may not be. Right. And so you can't pin your hopes on the outcome of a film. And so you have to look at, I, I, I love the director, I knew that going into this, so that certainly helped. But once I learned about the 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 property meaning how important the warrens are to the paranormal research to that world uh to the ghostbusters world i mean yes. that is huge and so then there's a great reverence and respect that you have for it and then to be playing someone that was a real person uh and and it gave me a whole different perspective too and the fact that lorraine is still living and like we could talk to her about it so there are a number of things that really made it say okay this is gonna and, and also truthfully the structure of it knowing that if we got it right we could do another one um <laughs> but understanding that you you have this relationship of the warrens but there's always another case so it didn't feel like you would just be retreading the same ground right. after everything we've seen there isn't much that rattles either of us anymore. But this one, this one still haunts me. And the great thing is, you know, we'll be telling different stories with each chapter, mm -hmm. but the great thing for me is be, being able to continue uh, with the stories of Ed and Lorraine Warren. Right, right. And so, and continue to expand on that world, continue to see more who they are and to grow with them. And, and the thing that I love best about it too is, uh, is you know, the, the these first two movies take place in the 70s. Yes. And and so if they are, if we're lucky enough to have future installments, right. we want to move into the 80s. <laughs> and, and, and who knows what's going to happen after that. I just you want know? to see the wardrobe. <laughs> and I can get rid of the cyborgs, yes. <laughs> which would be nice. Which would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it's great, you know, but that's what that's what growth is. You know, you grow <laughs> yes. with the characters and that's very important. Right. As an audience watching them, you relate to them that way. Right. Does it feel like the voice is coming from inside you? More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. Janet, are you all right? Stop calling me Janet. I love when you go practical. I, I, it's it's right. kind of hard to find <laughs> a horror film where you, there's no just CGI going on. Right. How do you take those decisions? How, how do you say, you know, 
let's make this practical. Let's make these so makeup and just put it on the background, and it will be scary as hell. Well, uh, I uh, I don't. I'm just a fan of that world. I'm just a fan yes. of that style of filmmaking. My filmmaking is very classical. I like things that are very tangible that I can touch. You know, like yeah. Yeah, at least I know my my spirit and my ghosts are, pres are represented by actors, right? Um, and actors, and that, therefore I can direct them as opposed to directing an animator with yeah. a mouse, me, you know, shaping the demon or whatever, right? And that's very important. Um, I don't, and, and also from um, from working with my actors as well, it, it gives them something to actually react off, something that's real in the room. And I, again, you know, that, that just adds this extra layer of authenticity to it that I think is very important to the success of these films. She's such a good girl, what's that wrong with her? An oppressing spirit will try to force you to commit the ultimate sin. One of my favorite moments of the first movie was this music montage of people getting the equipment on the onto the house. Yeah. I saw something sitting on your bed. And there's a little uh, montage here where it's actually you singing, you sing it, and, you, <laughs> and you show us uh, your, your skills with the guitar right. and, and and with your voice. That was amazing. Right. right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You tell you me. Tell, yeah. It was great. I mean, it was like a nice touch. How do you feel too? I, I mean, listen. It was like the first scene that when he came back on board. Uh, I remember him. I just get a text one day. Do you play guitar? And I thought, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? What are you thinking? I don't want you to sing Elvis in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm so all right. I'm in. Whatever, yeah, I'll do whatever. No, you know what? There is that sense of, of, let's go for it. Sure, yeah. why not? Yes, I mean, and even in the ending of the film, which I won't give away. I mean, the yes. fact that you came up with that, and it's like, yeah, we're gonna do that in a horror movie, like, yeah. because it's that's what it, it's. It doesn't become a horror movie. It's a movie. We're making a great film, and we want to make a great film. And so that it's those those human moments, those moments that make the. It's not only the scares that put the audience. Uh, yeah. on, the, on the edge, you want the humorous moments and the romance to go, that's unexpected, I'm feeling something, I'm yeah, almost yeah. crying. I mean, yeah. that's when you've made an and impact, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that sequence especially with how much, I guess, you know, it's resonating with people. <laughs> I, I think uh, oh, that, that was a really, it, it was a very, um, you know, it, it was such a fine line sort of filmmaking thing to do because uh, you don't want it to be too goofy, right? You don't want it to be too cheesy, but at the same time, it allows you to connect with the with all the family immediately <clears throat> and uh, and allows you to sort of feel for them. And it's a fun moment to just take a breather yeah. from all the scary dark stuff and just have a, a bit of levity in there. But then on top of that, we also see that, you know, okay, it's a montage, you know, it's story point needs to be told in there as well. Yeah. But then that whole sequence, it's starts like this and it goes then it becomes a bit darker towards the end yeah. you know we have the way um, Lorraine is feeling with all of this she's sort of she's very melancholic she's very um, you know like um, she's very troubled by all that's going on and even though it's a pretty scene there's so, it works on so many different layers well and, it, and, and that was fun. also practical yeah. I mean I've done musical movies before and you record it and you go right. in there and you lip sync and I and that was yeah. one thing that we that I was really pushing for and wanted and luckily yeah. we were all yeah. on board like let me just do it let me play yeah, and do, do it real. and I talked to Joe, to our music supervisor, you know, uh -huh. composer, and say, can we, is this okay? Am I going to have to go in, and, like, I didn't want to click track, you know, or, and you use that, and it's super helpful, because you can cut it later, um, but it was very... No, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's very just, important. It's just what just I recorded. Having Patrick be in the room, singing and playing, and the kids sing along with him, yes. it just feels more real. It's not perfect. Yeah, it's, it's not just, perfect. It's just yeah, real. you you want all, all you want all the sort of like the subtle sort of um, errors in there. Yeah, there are. It makes it feel more there human are. and uh, yeah, less polished. There which are is errors great. in there. <laughs> <laughs> you believe us, don't you? Sensing a presence? I'm not sensing anything. All I can sense is their own fear. <laughs> Guys, I could talk to you all day. Thank you very and much. You could, yes. Congratulations for your Thanks, work. Man. I love the film. I'm oh, thank you. I'm going to watch the second time. Thank awesome, you. mate. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Mi canción, mi nueva canción, se fue volando. ¿Cómo te sientes con este estreno de tu película, Tini? Estoy muy emocionada, muy emocionada, la verdad. Eh, feliz, capaz, un poco nostálgica. 